Hello guys and welcome back to the Zane Investing. I want to talk to you guys about AMC stock. AMC ended up finishing at $5.43. It was up around 5-6% here today. But we saw a little bit of a pullback. Towards the end of the day, the whole crypto market dove off a cliff here into the CPI numbers coming out tomorrow at 8.30 a.m. Currently, the consensus is that we would see a 5.1% increase year over year in inflation and people were just taking some volatility, some risk off the table. So we saw a little bit of a volatility here. If you look at the VX, you can see that the last hour just exploded up. It was at 1868, all the way up to almost 20 here. And the S&P 500 ended up finishing in the green, but small green. You can see this fall off towards the end of the day. This is after hours, and you can see that the stock market continues its upward trajectory here. It will be very interesting to see how AMC and how the stock market is going to react tomorrow morning to what is reported on the CPI numbers. Amazing Easter weekend for AMC and for Super Mario. And so we're seeing this positivity for AMC stock going into the CPI numbers. You can see here if Vortex will load, right? Let it load, let it load. Here we go. We decreased a little bit on shares on loan, so it went down 0.23%. The estimated short interest of the free float is still 25%, but it went down 0.3%. Tomorrow, we're going to be getting the numbers out of FINRA as well. So we'll get a little bit more of a context about what's going on with AMC shorts, but I wouldn't be surprised if it's pretty, ah, underwhelming the number because the report was coming out somewhere around here. I think if I remember correctly, from the March, ah, uh, not March 15th, but I think it was from the beginning of April, ah, uh, or somewhere around here when AMC was, you know, at 5-ish before we got the, the info about the lawsuit, if I remember correctly. We can pull it up, but it's you know, let it come out tomorrow, and then we'll talk about it. Right. I don't want it to be have any premature discussion there. Something interesting that happened here. The cost to borrow was at minimum of 955.92%. This is the highest that I have seen the minimum. But towards the end of the day, it went back down to 7.95%, which could coincide with the fact that some shares were returned out in the morning, and then they were used to create this sell-off towards the end of the day. So maybe this was some shorts closing, this kind of move move up that we saw here, and then maybe those shares that were returned and then in on par there were shares to be loaned out. Then the price to the short or to borrow went down on that broker. And then they were able to short towards the end of the day. We'll see tomorrow what happens here with the cost to borrow. Will it pop back up or will we see kind of a level out around 7, 8 or 9%? Listen, even 8% isn't isn't great, but to be close to 1,000 here, 955.92, that's just a wild number here. And so it'll be very interesting to see what happens with AMC. You know, the shorts, the sorry, the option contracts just got destroyed with all this volatility. And you can see AMC is getting close to the top end of the stochastic full. So tomorrow into next week is going to be very, very interesting. There's probably going to be a big move if CPI numbers are on par, are very, very good. If they're on par, probably not a lot of movement. But if they're very, very good, you can see a lot of money that has been sitting on the sidelines for the past few weeks. Jump in and you can take advantage of it with options with stocks. However your heart desires. No commissions, no payment for order flow. A link is in description down below and you can get up to 15 free stocks potentially with my link. So what will happen tomorrow? It's all up in the air. We don't know what's going to happen but we can be positive and hope that inflation numbers are going down. But we shall see. Don't forget to smash the like button. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you next time. And like I always say, let's make a lot of money.